Hey guys, second or third day I think in Singapore. We've just been through Chinatown here. Uh, absolutely amazing. We bought a few things. It is really, really hot right now. Like I think it's 31, 32 degrees, and nearly 100% humidity. Um, now we're gonna head off. Catch you guys there. We are up here at the Marina Bay Sands Observation Park, the Sky Park, with this marvelous view. Hey guys, another day here in Singapore. Uh, today we are going out to, first of all to get some breakfast, and then we're going out to Little India to visit the street markets. The rains are coming. March, the rains are coming. It's the windiest we've ever had in nine days. buy some stuff for pretty cheap and some pretty good quality products. Catch up with you soon. Enjoy the B-roll. Hey guys, back again. We've just finished up with the shopping for the day. Final little bit of gift shopping for the friends and the family and all of that. And now we're walking back. As you can probably tell from the wonderful sheen on my forehead, it is horrendously hot and humid today and I'm sweating like a pig. We both are. And uh, yeah, now we're walking back to the hotel, which is uh, just here, so yeah. So this is the, uh, the last day here, so uh, yeah, what do you think, Claire? Pool time? Pool time. Pool time. I think we're going to go to the pool, <laughs> then we're going to pack our suitcases and get ready to go tomorrow. Our flight isn't until late tomorrow, so we're probably going to spend the entire day exploring the, uh, the Changi Airport, which is supposed to be a bit extraordinary. So I might check back in tomorrow, depending 
and how much time we've got and uh, cover the airport and uh, I'll bring you along. See you then. Hey guys, so we're back for the final day here in Singapore. We've just checked out of the hotel and uh, right now we're walking down to the, uh, the Formula One track, to the Formula One building to go and inspect that to kill some time on the last day. We don't fly out until nearly 10 o'clock tonight. Um, this morning has been an absolute, I think clusterfuck is the only real word to describe it. We had to go and get a ART or rat test on this morning within 24 hours of our departure time. And all of the local test centers either don't offer 24 hour turnaround on a 15 minute test or they want $310 per test to do it. So we've spent the morning scrambling around to do that. We finally checked out and now we're on our way home. So catch up with you and we'll show you the Formula One building when we get there. And here we are. This is the Marina Bay Formula One track here in Singapore. Walking down, I think just before the last turn, as you can see behind me over here, that's the pit entrance in the final corner. And behind us, the, uh, the Singapore Flyer, the big London Eye-esque Ferris wheel. And as usual, Claire's lagging behind. Too hot for her. So yeah, this is the famous track, which is interesting because when you watch it on the race, you don't quite realize how close it is to the water. Like and yes, um, Albert Lake. Yeah, it's like Albert Park Lake. The difference is that's a sea, not a lake that's probably like three meters deep. So even though they've got grandstands and safety fences there, you still think if a car loses its front wing and gets airborne, it's not entirely impossible it could end up in the sea. So yeah. Just coming around to the Formula One pit building now and uh, I'll show you that when we get there. So here we are. We're on the pit straight of the Singapore Marina Bay Grand Prix circuit. The pit building up behind me here. Home of Formula One night racing. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but above each of the pit garages are the banners with all the drivers. I think they're two years old now. Um, you still got Alex Albon as Max Verstappen's co-driver or second driver. Danny Rick is still with with Renault alongside Nico Hülkenberg. Um, Grosjean and Magnussen are still at Haas. So yeah, obviously hasn't been a race here in a while. They haven't even taken the banners down. But yeah, it's pretty cool here. Very hot. Very hot. Hey guys, so the final little bit of our trip is coming to an end. We're currently here at Changi Airport at the famous Jewel. And as you can see behind me, they have an indoor garden and an indoor waterfall that is absolutely sublime and does not belong in an airport, but amazing nonetheless. Hey yeah, guys, welcome back. As you can tell, we're back home now. I didn't get any uh, footage in the airport. I didn't get any footage. On the way back, we basically got on the plane and both Claire and I went straight to sleep. It had been a pretty long day, a pretty big fuck around with all the testing requirements and everything like that that we needed to do. So it was a very long day and we finally, when we finally got back on the plane, we both just went to sleep and, and headed off. It's been a few weeks since we actually got back, but I've just been very busy with different events and uh, sorting out photos for Claire's best friend's wedding, for which I was the photographer for, so I've had to be sorting those images out. We're just about done with that now. So yeah, we can basically focus completely on content now. Looking forward to really getting out there and producing more content for 2022. I've got a, quite a few things planned, so there'll be a, a Keep It Reap video coming out from the Friday Night Drifts that happened uh, start of Feb, I think. So 
there'll be an event there'll be a video coming out for that i've also got something that i'm planning well just let's just say it's a secret for the time being but uh if it all works out i won't be able to bring you along for a video for it unfortunately due to the rules surrounding this particular event but fingers crossed that we get into it additionally i've also got some things in the works with some other melbourne photographers so hopefully i'll bring you along to an event with with them and I'm also planning on doing some editing tutorials and things like that as well. So stay tuned for those as well. It's going to be an awesome year this year. Hopefully with COVID now subsiding quite substantially in Australia. And the world looking like it's going to return to normal. Hopefully we can get out. We can do some traveling. We can bring you along for the ride. Bring you some awesome content. And uh, for all of you who have subscribed thank you so much for subscribing if you're watching this and want to see more content like it please hit the subscribe button join me along for the journey i'm sure you'll love it leave a comment down below with what you've liked from these videos what you think i can improve i'm always happy to hear some feedback and of course if you like this video leave it a like as well and until next time guys i'll catch you next time Bye.